going. Yes, that's your birthday. Can you do this? Yeah, I can you do this? Am I supposed to? Oh, yeah. Can you do this? Yeah. Can you do this? Okay. <laughs> You should have done, can you do this? No. Okay, fine. It's not nice. Okay, so 11th of October is P's birthday. Mm -hmm. And that makes you a Libra. Oh, you know, you know the bag that I showed in the other video? My backpack? You know, there, there, is, uh, there are Libras, like there is the symbol of Libras everywhere in the, in the, on the backpack. I don't know why, I have to search that. Anyway, birth yeah. story. Okay, birth story. I was born October 11, 1967 at around 3.30 uh, p.m. PM. Yeah, apparently it was a mistake. Uh, that's what my parents told me very nicely that I was a mistake. Well, I got, you know, love from them and everything, but they said that I wasn't in their plans. So they didn't want an abortion. So here I am. You're the best mistake ever. <laughs> oh my God, that's the best thing somebody ever told, told me. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> I'm not joking. I love that. So, yes, so my zodiac sign is Libra. And, no, no, uh, how did you pop out? Like, what was it like? like it was what? very easy because my mom had my sister 16 months before. Mm -hmm. So she made the way very easy for me to <laughs> come out. <laughs> Were you like small? Were you a small baby? Or? Yeah, I was a good size. But you I, weren't born premature or anything? No, oh, okay. no, 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 no. I was born quite on time. Mm. Yeah, it's a Libra thing. <laughs> so what are the traits of a Libra? Uh, they're very balanced. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Um, you don't I don't know remember. I know that they are air signs. Mm -hmm. I know that uh, apparently they are very undecided. Do I do this? Do I do that? Do I do this? Do I do that? Mm -hmm. And sometimes I'm like that. I mean, many other people, many other signs, you know, experience mm -hmm. that. But anyway, they are very loving do you even know your own zodiac no, sign? no i don't this <laughs> sucks where's my phone i don't know because i read also the other signs i might overlap characteristics i don't know but i can tell you what i think about zodiac signs okay this is what i think wait libra traits okay diplomatic yes great listener oh yeah uh, no actually mm, yeah no i am i am i, I listen when i'm, uh, I'm in focused. the mood to listen yeah <laughs> Idealist, loves beautiful things. Yes, absolutely. Venus is my ruling planet. Now I remember, yeah. It says shopping. No, Medi I hate shopping. I totally hate it. Yeah, mediating. Like I get sick in my stomach. Like I get sick. They're mediators. Medi yes. Mediating and overthinking. Yeah. I don't know how accurate these are, but... Yeah. Peaceful, fair, and hate being alone. Partnership is very important to them. Uh, yes, it is. Absolutely. I realized that after I got divorced, the partnership is very important for me. Like on one side, I was like, no, I don't want to be in a relationship anymore because, you know, I like my freedom. And then on the other side, oh my God, I want somebody. I want a companion. Nice. Love that. Love going home and finding somebody there. Ah, oh, it's the best. Avoids confrontations. Yes, that's totally me. Oh my God, it's totally me. And it's not because I want to please people. That's not part of the people pleasing thing. That's it's just really, a separate thing. <laughs> it's a separate thing. No, it is. I don't, I don't like confrontation. Uh, yeah, cooperative, diplomatic, mm -hmm. fair-minded. Yeah, uh, that's me. Yeah. It's totally like... Yeah. Um, they're in a constant chase for justice, equality, and realizing through life that the only thing that should be truly important to themselves is their own inner core of personality. Whoa. Wow. Where did you get that? It was on never a website. never been so accurate. Really? Yeah. Okay. So you're it saying is. you pretty much fit all the characteristics. Yes. Venus. Venus. You want to ask me, do I know any other Libras? Do you know any other Libras? Yes, as a matter of fact. I mean, I'm asking, but I already know. <laughs> yeah. Um, my father's a Libra and my grandmother on my mother's side. But I don't know. Isn't it interesting that my mom has the same zodiac sign as yours and your dad has the same, is the same zodiac sign? So. Yeah, that is interesting. And also what's also interesting is you have mommy issues and I have daddy issues. So maybe we're maybe. like trying to work things out. Is there a message there? I don't know. <laughs> 
My dad and my grandmother are like totally different personalities than you though. So do you think we're compatible? Absolutely. You're an earth sign and I'm an air sign. So together we make dust in the wind. Dust in the wind. That's very po poetic. I mean, it's only 10 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> You're being very poetic already. I mean, can you imagine if it was a water and an earth sign? What do they make? Mud. Oh my god, yeah! Do you think they're a good match? Yeah, mud is also good. Doesn't sound so great. No, mud's clean the skin, it's very good with arthritis and okay. all that. Depending. This video is okay. not making any sense so far, but... Um, <laughs> but that's the video for today. No, let's talk a little bit about, like, okay, so do you think zodiacs are accurate? Well, you, you just read, you just, it's me. Like, I can, it's me. That's okay, all so. the traits I have. But sometimes what I don't find accurate is when, you know, the, the little hor horoscope for the day. You oh, know, yeah. People kind of like, I do believe in astrology, astrology. I, yes because once I was very young and my parents were renting an apartment out to this lady and she was into astrology she was actually very good she was a nurse she was a retired nurse she was 70 years old and she was an amazing uh, like astrologer and uh, she would use her intuitional skills through the astrological reading so she would use astrology and give you a lot of information about your future and she told me things she was the first one I was married and she was the first one telling me oh uh, in the future you're going to have uh, deeper connections with women and I what? thought why what 10 years before I got divorced I had this reading that's impressive yeah she was amazing and she told so many other things that then no that's not possible that's not gonna be like that that's not gonna be. like when they were happening I would think oh my god you know wow. anyway yeah okay so that's it for today yeah and we'll see you tomorrow all right bye All right.